I'm here now to talk about someone who just didn't do their job, but did other people's job. Someone who understands that to be your brother's keeper is probably the best thing to be. And uh, it takes a village. And because of what he did, he saved uh, countless lives. Um, and, and we're grateful to him. You know, we have these humanitarian awards, and we try to present those every year to people who've made a big difference the year before for patient safety. And uh, this year, I'm, I'm proud and honored and humbled to be up here to recognize uh, uh, Secretary Marcelo Eberard of Mexico. Uh, please come up. So much. We would like to. We, we would like uh, Secretary Abroad to speak, but before he does, I just want to tell you what happened. Secretary of Foreign Affairs, not Health, um, until, now. until now, yeah, uh, is worried about his people. Is worried about people in Latin America, and the COVID is raging. He makes sure vaccines are made available to people of Mexico to people of Latin America. Uh, we are grateful to you. Thank you so much for your love and kindness. Thank you, thank you. and for your leadership. Thank you. thank you. Would you like to say a few words? A few words. Yes, yes, please, thank you. Joe, thank you very much. Uh, I am very honored to receive this recognition in such an important forum. Just say that uh, it's quite un unusual to have a foreign minister in, in a health and patient safety movement. But as a matter of fact, we are supporting and we, are com we have the commitment to extend in our country the ideas that you are defending and promoting in this forum. So thank you very much from the bottom of my life and my heart. I will say that uh, this is a commitment not to forget the lessons from the COVID-19 experience. Because it's easy to forget, to return to normality. COVID-19 was a, a tragedy for Mexico and so many countries. Um, we learned in a very hard way, tough way, the importance that for our countries to take as a public policy your patient safety movement. The idea to improve the quality of all the Mexican health system in order to be prepared for the next pandemic, but right now, in order to improve the life and the chances of the patients in our system, the health system. This is a tough and the important thing that this award means for Mexico. The commitment to improve every day the patient safety in our health system. Already we have 60 hospitals in our country working in this movement. And that's why I'm here to say thank you, everyone, for this award. Count on us. Mexico is in this movement. And we want to transform this idea in a public policy in our country for every hospital, for every patient in Mexico system. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Michael Ramsey. Thank you, Dr. Neelam Dingra, Dr. Donaldson, everyone. Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. And uh, I recognize you, Joe, for your work. Really congratulations. It's very touching. This movement is really changing the life and the chance for the patients all over the world. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Wow, this is amazing. Beautiful, thank, huh? Thank you very much. You deserve much. more. Thank it's you so a, much. A, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jim, I know we have a President Berwick in the works and President Sheridan, but please, we need this guy to become President of Mexico. You guys should meet. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you.